Hello, hello. Very quick update from me. Uh, been down for a couple of weeks with COVID, but managed to get a couple of little orders in to finish things off. So I had a GoTech come with my Amiga 1200 that was just kind of hanging out of the machine. <laughs> so I've purchased a, a 3D printed mount that will make the GoTech fit neatly inside the A1200 and also an OLED screen so that I can see what thing I'm selecting instead of just trying to remember a number from the potentially hundreds of things. <laughs> so I can now cycle through that and have a look. So yeah, I had to get the 0.91 inch uh, OLED screen. It seems to be pretty common, very cheap. And the, the plastic uh, plastic mount. And I've got it in there and connected up. The slightly difficult thing is figuring out where the wires go if your GoTech didn't come with an OLED display. I think they probably all do now, but mine mine had an older like segment display. Uh, so here's here's how the cables ended up for me. Um, the bottom cable is for the power. Um, so you can see you've got the uh, the VCC, uh, so like plus voltage goes from the bottom pin on the GoTek to the uh, top pin on this bottom connector. And for the signal, it's uh, the bottom pin on this connector goes to the bottom pin on, uh, on this connector. So the connectors are, uh, are kind of vertical. Hopefully you can see that and it makes sense. And that's the GoTech inside the machine. So we get a display now and we can see what we've actually got selected. Uh, it's not the most ergonomic, but it works okay. Um, and I've got a nice stock look as well. Not, not too much hanging out anymore or screens wedged on the front. And here's a lovely crack tro from SimCity 2000 to see us out.